Hey guys, welcome back. This is part two of our gigantic tire shine test that we've, that's that been going on for the last several weeks. Uh, in this test, you're gonna find products that are more on the high end. You're gonna find more water-based as opposed to silicone-based products. And then we also have a couple that are actually a, uh, a tire coating. And I'll explain that more when we get to them. So this test, all of these have been purchased out of my pocket unless otherwise stated and I'm not bought, sponsored, paid for, anything like that like so many of these other YouTubers out there and so I want to remain that way. I'm completely neutral. If there is a product that's in this test that we use in our shop, I'll let you know. So pay attention in the comments and you'll see which ones. I have built this rig and you can find more about it uh, in the link in the description below. I've, I have a separate video of just putting this rig together. Um, basically it spins at 55 miles an hour or 88 and a half kph in order to test the sling or the drivability when we put it up against water and things like that. The test is going to consist of four different things that we're going to judge it on. First is the gloss level and that's subjective and it's also a personal preference. The, some people like a more of a satin finish, some people like crazy wet, uh, incredibly high gloss. So I'm gonna rate those from one to five, five being the most glossy, one being almost like it's not even there. Second is tire sling. So you're gonna apply it, let it sit there. Some, some of the products say it gives you a time frame. It says wait five to 10 minutes, so we're gonna wait 10. Some of them as long as 30 minutes. And we have a product in there that is not fully cured until 36 hours, a day and a half. Next, of course, is dust resistance. I have very fine sifted dirt and sand that I've put into a device so I can sprinkle dust kind of at an angle on, onto the tire and see how much sticks, how much doesn't. There's a huge variance in how these products behave in that regard. So you'll see that. And then finally, we're going to apply a pressure washer at about almost a meter away, or what is that, a little over three feet away, at a 45 degree angle, but not aimed directly at the tire. It's kind of offset. So it, it represents the equivalent of driving in heavy rain. So we're going to spin it for a minute that way and see how things hold up and go from there. So one thing that I had failed to mention last time was the tire is properly cleaned between each product and it's dried and basically it's all ready to go for the next product. So without further ado, I'm going to just let it go. This is going to be kind of a long video the link in the comments I'll have all the time set out so if there's a, a specific product that you're looking for you can just click on that and go right to it and then of course I'll announce the winners at the end and I'm gonna choose a top five because there are some there's more than just a few really good products in this test so you be the judge but I will I will give you a top five in no particular order of the ones that I believe survive this test the best and that perform the best so here we go and finally have a couple quick little housekeeping things patreon.com slash scott hd link is right there it will greatly help out the channel any donations you guys uh, provide 100 percent of what i get from that comes right back into the channel to buy more products uh, to test compare etc so uh, other thing is any of the products you see here if it's available on Amazon the Amazon Associates link is in the description and that helps me out we get a couple cents from each purchase and that goes right back into the channel as well so thank you again and let's get started
Perfect. Perfect.
and the winner is you ready for this we actually have two that have done the best and I'm sure you saw it Lone Star tire coating and Dura dressing so if you have to choose between just these two I'm gonna choose Lone Star so we're gonna call that one our winner the reason being this one takes 24 to 36 hours to cure it does an equal job as this uh, uh, as the Lone Star in regards to the gloss level the sling the dust resistance and of course the water resistance uh, both of these products they excelled at the water resistance and the others too but compared to all of the other products it seemed like the water resistance was the weak spot of many of them and if they were exceptionally shiny glossy they had poor dust resistance and you I'm sure you saw that in the videos if you watch the whole thing it was kind of a long video so these are the these are the two that that win the downside to these is that you have to prepare the tire very 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 well so if you're just washing your car and want to throw some tire shine on these probably aren't what you want so thought of that let me put these over here so I have four others that I chose that I believe will serve everyone well as far as sling resist uh, sling resistance dust resistance wet resistance and, and so on um, basically these are not the only four that performed exceptionally well so if you're after if you, if you don't care about water resistance then you're gonna have a little bit different outcome to this but most of these the these four that I've, I've chosen they have good water resistance but not as good as the winners here so without further ado the winner other than Lone Star and Dura dressing for just a quick after you wash it and throw something on Adams VRT that surprised me too so you go back and look at the video you can watch it how well it performs and I think you'll be happy with this so that's the first one second one is Angel Wax Elixir and that's not the Enigma Elixir which surprised me it uh, this one didn't have as good of water resistance as the regular one so that would be number three or I'm sorry number two number three is G Technic T2 tire dressing it's very liquidy uh, definitely seems water based however it does perform pretty well in the water resistance the other one is the T1 tire and trim and that one didn't seem to do as well so T2 for number three and number four is I have all these everywhere uh, number four is TAC system tire coat made in Korea it smells amazing too there's a lot of these had a a fragrance but you know they're just generic smell good this this smells good uh, that's not the reason I chose it it performed well the one if you have to choose a weak spot of this would probably be the sling which you can probably control that uh, just not don't put it on as thick or whatever but you know it's uh, I tried to be fair to all of these products apply them as intended apply them evenly wipe the excess so we don't have excessive sling and so on so there you go guys all f six of these are good performers I'm gonna leave the spreadsheet to the results in a Google Docs link in the description so you can see the others you can sort it by less uh, the least amount of sling the least amount of or the best dust resistance the best water resistance uh, the gloss level and so on uh, the the spreadsheet in the link it has part one and part two for the results so what did we learn from this we learned with some of the oddities like in in part one pledge doesn't make a good tire shine someone suggested it so we tried that uh, there were others that were suggested that I didn't do which were like mayonnaise don't know why you do that but uh, mayonnaise motor oil not suggested because it's going to de deteriorate the rubber and uh, oh there was one other real weird one I forget what it was but uh, the the others that we did test were uh, 
we tested the ceramic coatings, which in this instance, we used CarPro Gliss, the earlier version, just because I had a bunch of it laying around. So I wasn't going to use some of my super, super expensive stuff for that. But you can see based on the results of that, other than it being really expensive, it was dust resistant. It was water resistant. It didn't sling, but it wasn't very glossy. So it's, it's almost as if nothing was on the tire. However, it did perform. So, you know, that was, that was something that was kind of unusual. I'd be interested to see how well that would hold up uh, in the long term. Uh, the other one, the Duplicolor tire paint. So the, the deal with that, it's, it's actually paint. So you want to spend the time to mask off your wheels or I don't know if you'd want to do it before you mount tires to wheels, something like that. But um, it did perform well. However, it was extremely hard to get it to look uniform. It, it kind of looks spotty in parts. And so that's why on uh, when I tested it, I flipped one of the tires over to the backside that's never had any kind of tire shine on it uh, to see if it was contaminating it or something like that. And I got the same exact result. So uh, I actually tried it on three or four different tires and it just, it I got the same result. So that's why it's not recommended because it's difficult to work with. You have to mask everything and it's hard to make it look uniform. However, it was good dust resistance, great gloss, good water resistance. That was about it. So I can't recommend that one. A uh, couple other fun facts. This, uh, this test, I had 1,709 video clips that I took of this and it took me about 130 hours of testing to do all of this and I literally watched paint dry for you guys so I could condense this into a video that's less than an hour. Uh, it took me over 40 hours to edit it and uh, the total cost involved was about $1,400 uh, for both tests and all of the all of the costs and everything are in that spreadsheet in the Google Docs. So that's going to wrap things up. I really, really appreciate you guys watching and supporting the channel. This was a lot of work. Uh, all of the suggestions that you guys provided, including the Lone Star, Dura Dressing, all those that the, ended up winning, those were viewer suggestions. So that's why I put out these videos beforehand, before I do a test that says, hey, this is what I'm looking for. Uh, what do you recommend? This is why. So I thank you for that. The They were great recommendations. And as you can see, the results are pretty, pretty surprising. Um, Patreon, patreon.com slash Scott HD link is right here. Again, you've seen me mention it before. 100% of what I get from there goes right back into the channel to buy more products. The Amazon Associates links, not all of these products are available on Amazon, but if they are, if they aren't, I'll put the link where you can get it. Usually it's the manufacturer website. Some of these uh, come from outside of the USA, so you may be on your own to try to find some of those. Um, and let's see, one, one else, uh, one other thing got to remind you guys I am not sponsored by any of these manufacturers these are 100% paid for out of my own pocket the uh, the manufacturers sometimes they like to send me stuff to test so I will happily oblige to do that but I do not want any sponsorship for it so if you want me to try something out if you're a manufacturer out there send it to me and we can go from there um, please share this video you know, there's a there's a lot of time and money and effort that have gone into this, so I'd like to get the word out. Um, the guys on Reddit, uh, the subreddit auto detailing, I've been banned from there because they don't like self promoting and things like that. So, you know, I shared shared a couple of these videos and they decided to ban me. So, uh, I know you guys, uh, your redditors, you guys like to share these videos, so feel free to post it in there. Um, again, like the like the video, comment below, and of course subscribe. Hit that bell icon so you keep getting notifications when I post a new video. Have several new videos, uh, new tests coming up in the in the next couple months. Uh, we have the ceramic glass coatings. We have the ceramic trim coatings. We've got an update for the usual tests that we have uh, for the ceramic sprays and the ceramic coatings and waxes and, and so on. The other new test is a graphene products only. So I know you've you've heard and seen a lot of the graphene stuff, um, graphene infused, graphene oxide, etc. So we've got eight products. It's a new IGL graphene reinforced Kenzo, which is their flagship coating. 
Adam's ceramic coating with graphene, Adam's ceramic uh, detail spray, uh, Adam's graphene detail spray. I think I said, did I say Adam's? Adam's a graphene coating. Yeah, it's it's in there. And uh, there's Art to Shine SPS graphene. There is Drive Auto. Several several companies that we're going to be testing and uh, putting it to the test. So. Uh, thank you again, guys, and we will see you soon.